Right guys, Phil here and I'm in Eclipse and no it's not that stupid Twilight thing, mabob thing, movie crap stuff, yeah. <laughs> this is um, a platform thing, I'm allowed to develop like plugins for a book and they're all like for Zazzle, but yeah. Um, in the last, my last videos I did with the paint button, lots, I got a few messages saying, oh how did you create your um, stuff and all that, how do you make the names and all that change? And uh, well, I'm going to actually explain this in a form of a tutorial of how to actually do it. Right, so first we're going to just create a new project, a new class, and then I've made my page for me.fail.color names. Well, it can be whatever you want, but it just makes it more simple for me. And I'm just going to call it the file name, main, name, main. And then, you oh, before getting to it, you have to import two things. You have to import Bucket, which is the Bucket API, which can be found on the Bucket website and also the craft bucket which is the server side stuff so after you've imported all that you can come over to here and now since we've got everything that we need because we need craft bucket you may think well why you got craft bucket you've got the bucket API it's because we need craft bucket to send packages to the user and all that but anyway first we want to do extends java if I if it comes up java plugin there we go and it already posted for me, that's nice. And um, protected plugin logger. Log. And that's just gonna be something that would declare in a later in a later part of the tutorial, and then we'll just you do public vo void on disable. And this just gets called every time the plugin is like disabled or or when the server starts. So, but since there's nothing going to be doing from that, we're just going to keep it as it is. So, next we we'll have to put a public void on enable, and the on enable just gets called every time it's the sp like the server gets enabled and all that f fancy stuff. So anyway, plugin ma first we set up plugin manager, and we just call pm for easy equals this dot get server. So we we'll get the servers that's actually the plugins on and then just get plugin manager then we just need to set the log so set this dot log equals new plugin l logger and then it's going to take a, a parenthesis of this and this will just be passed in as this whole thing so anyway since we've done that let's just create the plugin wait what just happened there what did I just do? What did I just do there? Oh, I, 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 <laughs> I imported the stuff. Right. Create the class, plugin logger, next. Right. Inside the plugin logger, it's just going to contain all our login stuff for login, everything that gets output. So, anyway, private main plugin. That's just good. That's just there. The ma this part right here, this is refer. This is just what we're going to be referring to. And the main is. The main class, whichever you have it. So you might have it like I don't know, up my game, and that's where all your on enable and disable. So it'll be like up my game like that. Okay, right. So then we just need to do another one. Private logger is called log. Right. So then public, and uh, we need to make a public plugin logger, which is going to take a parenthesis of main plugin. Right. Whew. Right, this dot plugin. So we've got to set the variables that we want equals plugin, and then this dot log equals logger. I think it is logger dot get lo logger, and we're just going to call it YouTube. Right. After we've declared all that stuff, we need to. One second, guys. Phone is ringing. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, let's just continue. <laughs> so anyway, private string get message. It's going to take a string of message, and then we just want to more or less just return the variable of the message. We'll get more with them extra stuff added, which would be more or less our plugin stuff. So anyway, it's red because we haven't done return method yet. Anyway, plugin manager. Plugin manager. Wait, wait, wait! No, 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 no! It's plugin description. That's what it is. Plugin description file. I'm just gonna call PDF. Equals plugin. 
dot get so I can get right the get description then we just want to return and this is just the way I like to lay it out so anyway um so it's PDF dot get name you don't really need to do this you can just do whatever kind of layout you want but this is what I more or less use it for use it and we're just gonna have a, like that and then we have plus PDF dot get conversion plus I'm just gonna um close brackets and then space plus message right save that and why is this red the get description I don't I don't know it probably something I need to do later <laughs> anyway public public void info um string message it's going to just do this dot log dot info this dot get message message right all that's done we just need to go to our main file and we just more or less get all the harden energy done yeah so anyway let's just just take that out just a second and then we're just going to go public boolean because we want to return true false boolean and then on command this is going to take a few parameters called command sender sender oops I spelled that wrong there right command sender we're just going to call this sender and you get the command that was actually inputted so command cmd the the string which was thingy so string command I'm just going to call it command label and then for the arguments it's just string so square brackets and then I'm just going to call it args yeah right just save that and um, yeah it's going to be on the other thing so anyway let's just import our bucket stuff so command sender and command itself right and what is this art need and re return true right oops just highlighted everything no <laughs> right if sender is no instance of player so if the player that sends the command is actually a player in the game and is actually a true player then do this if it's not then don't allow it to oops what did I do what did I do I didn't get that right sender right and we just need to import the player entity thing which is there right Whew. if com command label dot equals ignoring case so it doesn't matter what is actually inputted name oops name so it's actually going to say if a player did slash name whatever then do this if orgs zero isn't equal to null then do this so it actually means that they'll actually put another parameter after it so like slash name red or whatever right if replace <coughs> sorry place string which is a function we're going to create in a second wait 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 with um wait 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 i've just thought we have to just throw something and um, do a for loop and um, for chat color which is just all the chat colors chat i'm just going to go chat c chat color dot val values there we go and this just means it's going to link 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 limp loop through each chat color that's actually ever been created in the in bucket minecraft and all that so anyway, replace string chat c so it's actually going to say right and what's the ch replace string is going to do is actually replace so you get in the chat colors it's like light underscore purple and dark underscore red and all that and i just want to have it just like dark red instead of all that so which that's why i'm just putting this equals Oops. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Equals a. Oops. A. Ignore case. 
logs zero right 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 let's just create this we create this place replace string which is oof, no I don't want to replace create method there we go is that right yes it is right and then it returns no which is all right okay the place string is more or less just very string as simple as just string chat and I'm just going to call chat color replace equals chat c dot name so it gets the name of the thing dot replace replace all and we're just going to replace the underscore with the replacement of nothing so it's just going to take it out more or less and then we just need to return chat color replace right so that's that all set and building all that done and then we just need to do set player name which is going to do oops pl place name or player player name which is going to be another method which is going to create in one second and it's going to cast a variable player which is going to be the sender so it takes the sender and actually converts it into the player entity thing and it's also going to take chat dot to string right so it's going to take the string of the chat color and also the player itself that sent the message right almost finished there guys <laughs> right I just want to do all this so I just equals it just makes this makes it easier for me to thing it all and then string it will become color color I'm just doing the American spelling because most people be American <laughs> Right, string old name, and this is just so we can have a reference to the, the original name that was actually sent before change it so it doesn't make any conflicts with it later on. So player dot get name. You don't want it. You don't want to get display name because display name gets changed by other other. It can get changed by other plugins like I think will no not will do it <laughs> like essentials and all that. If you had like send, I don't I don't know, but you know, right. This is the most hard part. Entity entity player changing name equals craft player and so we're taking the player dot get wait 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 player wait 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 craft player player dot get handle is that right no what is wrong with this? Oh, I need, to I need to import stuff. Right, that's it. Right. Change, changing name, changing, yeah, changing name dot name. I, sp I think I spelled changing, yeah, I did wrong. Well, it doesn't matter. Use, use can correct. Equals color dot player. Dot, weeks, oops, not dot. Pl dot player dot get name. Right. So now, since we've actually set the entity's name, that's getting changed. Now we want to push all the new packages to each player in the game and therefore update them in the name change, right? So do another for loop. So for player, and I'm just going to call this player, oops, players in world. And it's going to be looping through the, um, let's think, what is it? It's, um, get server dot get player no it's not that right um ch -ch -ch oh we can, oh, wait. Oh, blah, blah. We can just do bucket dot get online players right now we just do another check so if player in world isn't equal to the player so if the player that's actually getting the name change isn't equal to the player then we just want to push it out so just do craft craft player player in world dot get handle dot new wait 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 new serve server handle handle <laughs> handle 
er.send. I think I need to import this. Yeah. If it allows us to. Come on. Can I import it? No. What? Right. What have I done wrong? Get player, get handler. Handle. Got player dot present world dot get hand. Wait, what? what? See if I can rewrite it. Get get handler dot net. Well, it, well, it let us there. I don't, I don't know what that was. Dot net handler dot send package new. So we've got to create like a new package. So new package. Package. Pack no, not new package. New packet. Um, I think it's twenty named names. Um, wait, what named entity spawn? And it's going to take in the thing of changing name. Right now, then, what's wrong with you? Method. Send part is a type net send is not applied to the argument. Wait, what? Wait, what? Alright, let's just see what the matter is here. Let's take that out. Um, new packet. I just, just do packet 20 named empty. Then just, nah, that should be right. And it works. Right. This is one mistake more or less most people get wrong and what you have to do is do is changing name dot name equals old name and what this does is actually when a player's name gets set it sets it as say red player and then when it comes to like change it to like blue it doesn't actually do it, it just because the name's already been changed so it'll change it back again to its original name but it doesn't send its packet to the rest of the players so then it makes it more I just, like it doesn't update the other people right so I'll see you guys in one second as I jump over to the server see you guys w one second oh one second I've just remembered I need to um, export right save it and also in our plugin.yml I almost forgot this <laughs> so stupid I've just I'll put this in the description all this because it's more or less hard to remember to, oops, yeah, yeah that's all right that's right that's right that's right I right, just go to file export jar file next pin no not the pin button code name and I want to save it into plugins dot and we'll in my plugins folder and we shall call it if I can get it right color name dot wait no 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 it's not that <laughs> youtube dot jar we shall call it it's been all done so I'll see you guys one second as I start my server up Okay guys, as you can see in my server and as you can see um this guy waving his head with a new box on the head. I'll probably do a tutorial how to do that, even though it's more or less easy to do, right? So anyway, if I do slash name red, it sets it to red. But the one thing is I can't really reset the skin because it the name is dependent on the skin and all that. But if I go slash name blue, it changes to blue. I can go slash name magic and it does all this weird stuff. Yeah, look at all the random stuff. Woo! Random wah! And that you can have one good thing with um, this, you can do slash name. Oops, I didn't spell it right. Name bold, and say some bold, bold text. So yeah, this has been Ibro Field. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me in the comment section below if you want me to do any more bucket tutorials. And I'll see you guys next. Time. Ooh, also don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Bye.